Hey guys, welcome to MNB Rose where you can find so many encouraging videos including faith videos, fashion, lifestyle, hair care and so much more. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I am an author and I've written two books. The first one is called Daily Devotional, encouraging you to spend time with God and it's based on the book of St. James. And my most recent one is Lord Is This Relationship For Me, released um, just last month and if you order the two or whichever one um, you can get free shipping on emiabirose.com and a signed copy so I look forward to your purchase thank you so much to the people that I've supported so far it means a lot that you believed in my work and what the Lord has called me to do and in my purpose uh, of encouraging people so God bless you so today I'm going to be answering your relationship question so I got a question from someone and they wanted to know how to show a godly man that she is interested in him so she wants to know how how does it how does it work okay so I'll give you a few pointers and what I've noticed about this is that sometimes um, the truth sounds really weird, like it doesn't sound believable, it just sounds just quite simple. It's too simple, it's too easy. Sometimes we think things have to be complicated. I think that the world and toxic relationships perhaps have taught us that, you know, sometimes it has to be stressful, but a good relationship brings ease, a sense of ease to your life. And I keep saying this, but it doesn't mean it'll be perfect, but it'll be perfect for you, your anointing, your life, your future, your now, your 20 years, your 10 years down the line, your 30 years down the line. It will be good for you because God can see all that. So when he makes a presentation, when he makes a presentation to you, whether it's three presentations, whether it's one presentation, you need to be able to have spiritual eyes to see, OK, is this a man that I can do life with that will fit into my life? Will he be stressing when, you know, I say that I want to do this or when I want to go on speaking engagements or like when I when I need to take some time away to write my book, will he be stressing about that? Then if so, he's not the right guy for me. Like, will he not like my natural hair? Things like that. Um, one thing I'll let you know is that I am a life coach. I recently did my life coaching course and I realised that I've been coaching people for many years. I just have this very natural inclination to look for a need and try and solve it with ladies so I coach ladies so if you if you are interested in um, finding out how to work with me one on one then please email coaching at emiobirose.com you can also go on my website and find out what kind of coaching that I do and get an idea of my rates okay so I'll answer your question so first off I'll tell you what I did when I was interested in someone um, that I was going, when I was going to church and I was interested in someone. So the first thing I'll say is that you need to be working on yourself consistently. It's not something that stops at any point of life. This is what I truly believe. Even when you get the man that you want and you get engaged, you get married, that's only the beginning. Life is good and life is fulfilling but we also have to grow into what god has called us to be and i truly believe that he has magnificent plans for our life so it's a case of constantly growing in christ there's no end to his love and there's no end to the gifting that he can give us if we only step out of the mediocre christianity and walk towards a more fulfilling and higher level and operate on a, on a supernatural spiritual level and that's what I'm trying to work towards and I pray the same for you so if you're always working on yourself you know even if it's like counseling constantly updating your wardrobe within reason of course looking after yourself could be things like exfoliating your skin just walking around in confidence wearing bright colors dressing modestly and having your own personal style having a good attitude working on your spiritual life when you are constantly doing these things, you're going to attract a good guy. So if that guy that you're trying to, you know, get to notice you, you want him to notice you, if he can't see all that golden stuff, then it's probably not the guy for you. And so going back to what I was saying, there was a guy that I liked and 
I prayed about it, you know, we ended up going on a few dates, but it didn't go anywhere. Prayed about it, and one thing I did was I kept being my confident self. I made sure that I was looking presentable. I was just living my life as I normally would. But of course, I was more conscious of it because there was a guy, like I was thinking, maybe he likes me, but it was the early stages, he hadn't made a move. So I was present. Um, when I saw that he was contacting me to see whether I had got home safely, the next day maybe I would like start a conversation. So when I saw that he was making an effort, I wouldn't always wait for him to make the effort. I would also say, following on from that conversation, I'd also say, oh, how was your day? How are you? That kind of thing. And then I'll leave it there. Then if I see that it's an equilibrium and that we're both making the effort, then I'll let him take the lead. But I guess that's talking further down the line. But the initial things that I would do is I'll make effort to say hi and make just basic conversation with him. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? How was your week? Have a nice Sunday. I'll see you next week. I'll make I'll make the, the effort to, to make conversation. But one of the things that I'm really sensitive to in those kind of circumstances is if he's actually interested, men are very visual, as you probably know, and you should be able to tell whether he likes you. Now, you may not always be able to tell, but if you're like switched on when it comes to spiritually, if you've had if you've had a little bit of experience with with guys and like, you know, dating and you know, the the whole attraction thing, it's usually quite obvious when a guy likes you. You know, you can tell by his body language, you can tell by his facial expressions, you can tell by the fact that he wants to talk to you and he wants more. Of you so if he's saying things like I'll call you later which was one of the signs that that guy in particular gave me to let me know that okay he actually does like me because he's talking about he wants more of me he wants to call me later he wants to text me he wants to check on me and see how I am and if a guy is following up with you um, you know as soon as he sees you he's trying to make an effort he's making eye contact his body language is warm you know um, eye contact is on point he might also be looking at you, like kind of checking you out, looking at your hair, looking at your, like how you dress, um, your body type, um, whether he's actually attracted to that, obviously not in a perverted way, but you should be able to see the common signs of when someone actually likes you. So the first tip that I mentioned is to make conversation. I don't know the circumstance of the situation. That's why I'm saying if you want life coaching, you want me to kind of delve into it individualistically, then you can email me. But I'm just talking on a broad basis. So if you're in a church setting, I don't know even if you're new to the church, I don't know the circumstance, so it's a bit difficult. But if it's a church where, you know, you're, I don't know, it's fairly big, you're both going there. There's nothing wrong with saying hello confidently because that's what you'll be doing with everyone anyway. Um, you should always have like a social bit to fellowship at the end and there's nothing wrong with walking up to yourself and introducing yourself to a guy I do it all the time um, whether it's a guy that I think is cute whether I th whether it's a younger guy or a girl like it's fellowship so you should always be doing that and I guess that's a way to kind of um, if you like disguise your like for someone but always do it in a classy way always just keep it kind of like neutral and kind of like on the surface and look to see if he's trying to extend that conversation because as a lady keep it you know how are you but then let's see how he goes and see how he ends it if he's like in a rush to go he might have something to do but if he's always like trying to end the conversation quickly then I guess like you're not maybe he's you know have a look analyze him as well because as much as I can see if someone likes me I can also see when he likes someone else and I guess the spirit of discernment is a good thing so before you rush over analyze him or just say hi in passing things like that and work your way so when you finish analyzing him and you go and talk to him pay attention to the body language I think that the whole concept of getting someone to, to know that you like them. It's not something we as ladies, as kingdom ladies, really need to be doing. I speak about that in my new book, Lord Is This Relationship For Me. I think it's really important that a guy leads in love because I believe that Jesus led in love. He loved us first and the Bible is very clear on that. Um, the Bible speaks about the man loving the woman but also the woman res um, respecting the man. And that's how we show love is respect because that's how men receive love. So 
I find that men find it harder. It's the things that we find harder to do sometimes, the things that God expects of us. And believe it or not, men take longer to fall in love with a woman than a woman falls in love with a man. Now he can love you and get married to you, but it takes him just that much time longer. So when you know these things, and when you know that women love differently or more emotional, you really need to let him lead because if he's the one leading, then you know that this is what he wants. Obviously don't just put too much emphasis and, and show too much be classy be subtle you can also give eye contact like from a distance if you're talking to someone and you smile and flutter your lashes i don't think there's anything wrong with a little bit of you know i wouldn't even go to the level of flirting because i don't think flirting is appropriate in a church environment um yeah i don't know i guess people will have their own opinions like if you've already established that you like each other and you're moving towards a relationship and it's like clean flirting like you know just a little bit of like laughing and uh, oh you look nice today so do you i don't know just clean then i guess so but you can smile and you can show an interest and, and be kind um but be very subtle and be very classy he will be able to pick up on that but that's as far as it goes but overall putting the whole how to get him to notice me um, or know that he likes um, that I like him to one side when you are walking in your purpose when you're growing yourself when you're giving off just a good when you when you're giving off goodness and positivity about you and you're doing all the internal work you're working out you're looking after your skin you're eating healthy you're growing as a person you're healing from your past relationships you're growing in confidence you're keeping yourself around positive people you're getting toxicity out of your life you're getting your counseling you're getting your life coaching that will show that will show and that will show and it will come across as confidence and people will be interested in you and people will want to get to know you but be very careful as well because it shouldn't be a thing where you're trying to like jump from like you know let me date here and date there let god lead you and 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 just be careful but i hope this video has answered your question i hope this has helped god bless you and i'll see you in the next one bye